In this video, we're going to take a look at how to work with the adaptive sampling in Octane for Cinema 4D. And for this video, I'm using the Cantina.C4D scene. So the adaptive sampling settings are found in the kernel settings and they help you uh, reduce noise in problem areas within a scene. So if I go to the Octane settings, the adaptive sampling options are found here towards the bottom. So if I turn this on, we're not going to see a huge change, except for the fact that it's going to start the render again. There's a great way to visualize how the adaptive sampling is working in the scene by using a noise render pass. So let's set that up. I'm going to go into render, edit render settings, go to Octane Renderer, and I'm going to choose render passes. Let's enable render passes, go down to beauty passes, and turn on noise. So I'll close this, and what we see down here are two buttons, main and noise. So if we click on main, we're going to see the render as it currently is. If we click on noise, we see a preview of what the noise looks like, or the noise in the scene, as it's rendering. So this is where the adaptive sampling settings come in. If adaptive samplings is not turned on, this will be black. So you just see a black screen right there. So if that happens to you, just double check and make sure that adaptive sampling is turned on. And so let's take a quick look at these settings. The most important are noise threshold and minimum samples. Minimum samples means the minimum number of samples, as you see down here, that are rendered before adaptive sampling kicks in. So the default value is 256. So I'm going to lower this to, let's say, 25, just so it kicks in a little bit sooner. And let's restart the render. Okay, so you can see it rendering now. If you pay attention to the settings down here. Once we give above that setting of 25, you start to see areas of green appear. So these areas of green relate to areas where uh, Octane has kind of moved on. So what's going on is as it's rendering and as adaptive sampling is enabled, it's looking at the scene and it's concentrating the samples in those areas that had the biggest problems or the most noise, or the most prone to noise while it's calculating. Uh, once it is kind of rendered an area and uh, reduced the noise to an acceptable level, it's shaded green and it moves on to the other areas in the scene. So as this renders, you're going to see slowly more and more green appear. Now it's important to note that the noise threshold determines how much time it's going to spend in those areas. So for example, if I bring the noise threshold up way high, it's going to get green a lot sooner. In fact, we can see the whole screen is green. If I switch over to main though, you can see the scene is still quite noisy. So that's not necessarily helping us, uh, but it does render faster. Uh, you can see we got to 5,000 samples pretty quickly. So let's move this down to the default value is 0.03. If I move this down to, let's say, 0.2, just for the sake of demonstration, and then I'll render this again. And, you know, these settings are going to be different for each scene because each scene has its own uh, issues with noise. And, of course, there are other ways to reduce noise that we've talked about in other videos. So all of these can be used uh, together to help uh, reduce the noise in the render. So the noise threshold of 0.2, you can see we have some green areas that we're getting sooner, but it's not like the whole screen is green. So if we render the entire uh, scene and we still see some noise, like in these areas that are shaded green here, like on the, the, the uh, pilot's head, you can see when I switch to main, it's still kind of noisy. So this means that we're going to need to up our samples and also possibly loop lower our noise threshold. So let's bring this down to a really low value. Let's do 0.005 and restart the render. So this means it's probably going to take more time to render, um, but you'll and you'll see those green areas will expand much more slowly. Uh, but we should reduce noise in the final render. So you can see when I lower the noise threshold to 0.005 uh, and I did up the samples, about 15,000, we have fewer spots that are green 
so more of the image was uh, worked on in terms of the sampling uh, but also if we take a look at the main here the noise is much lower so it's another tool in your arsenal to help balance render time with uh, reduction in noise